Dubai, I don't know whether you have a hidden secret board of very clever architects who get together and see that the things all look nice together. I think it is quite architecturally quite amazing. He was a, uh, a diplomat so that with an office in London, it's called the Foreign Office, that look after you. We had had a treaty with these people who lived here that they should not attack British troops, fish, British ships, and uh, that we would protect them against any foreigners who tried to take their oil, or later it was take their oil, Saudis or taking their oil, or um, any difficulties. Technically, we were protectors. We didn't, we didn't rule. We, um, we saw to it that the, the, the rulers stuck to the treaty that they'd signed. One day, I went down to see the cook, uh, talk about what we were going to have to eat, and looking through the window, I saw three very fiercely dressed Arabs with uh, ammunition over there uh, uh, and rifles, and they had hawks on their wrist, birds, you know. And, and I said to Shay, to the cook, what are they doing? They're squatting in the sand outside. The ruler sent them to learn how to make baked roast potatoes. <laughs> when you said, looking where I left any mark on my stay in Dubai, well, perhaps I had something to do with the library, but I'm, I'm really being rewarded for something I the library, I, as might have, I no recollect no similarity with the library today. <laughs> very, very modest affair in those days. But the roast potatoes were probably the same, so maybe I brought roast potatoes to the Gulf. <laughs> My house was the largest house with air conditioning, and it had a room with shelves in it. So it collected a few books to add to there, and. Um, I went home in the summer, in the hot weather, and I bought um, a whole lot of second-hand books. And then my husband said, I don't think we can have people coming into the agency because we got worried about security and they'd have a man at the door, see that they couldn't have people walking in off the street to change their books. So he produced this um, um, office that we had in the, in the town, which wasn't being used. And so we moved in there. Then we're just approaching the point of me leaving. And then somebody came from Bahrain and said we could not use government property to run library. And so I thought we had arranged that the British Council would take the books and add them to their library because they were just going to open here and they always had a library. I thought that was all arranged. So I went thinking it was all in safe hands. And I'm afraid I did not ask what happened. I was too busy thinking what I was doing next in another country or something. And when I came back in 200, it was to my astonishment. Um, I found that I still had the Duffs and the Allens and people were still alive and here. And I learned that uh, they said, come and see your library. <laughs> Although it was interesting work for my husband, it wasn't all the time. And you'll go to working in London there are papers that come in and you have to deal with them and papers and papers and you have to sit up late answering the papers and getting them. Yeah. But Dubai wasn't like that. And maybe some trouble which might take suddenly all your time for a day or two or something. But in between you weren't, it wasn't a pressure of work coming in. I have the feeling that there was plenty of time to do, also if you did excursions you could always say it was your job because my husband's job was to be familiar with everybody in important in, in all of the sheikhdoms. So that if you said you wanted to go to, you really wanted to go to Muscat because you'd never been to Oman and you wanted to see that, you could say it was very important to look at the possibility of development for Bartina Coast or something like that. <laughs> when my husband left, he said it was the most enjoyable post he had and the Dubai was a splendid place and a splendid job in a splendid country. <laughs> the thing which is a startling thing is how clean it is. 
I mean, it was very dusty in those days, and all the roads were lined with rubbish uh, being eaten up by donkeys, <laughs> no, uh, goats. Amazing, it's, everything looks as if it's been just washed. Dubai, I don't know, I don't know whether you have a, a hidden secret board of very clever architects who get together and see that the things all look nice together. I think it is quite architecturally quite amazing.